morning. Today we're going to do disc brakes on a 2011 Electroglide Classic. We bought the pads eBay, not too bad at all. I did the tires, as you see the blue on the white walls. I had to do a front wheel bearing, and now I'm going to swap out these pads. So, all right, let me get going. I'm going to do the front. So these are done a little different than what we used to. First of all, get a screwdriver to take this cover off. There you go, put it aside. You'll see when the pin is pretty easily done and that's what it looks like. That's all it is. Like you've seen, I compressed it as much as possible. Now with a five millimeter, All he has it threaded and with that clip. So let's pull this out slowly. And I'm gonna clean this. This is where that clip lies in there. That's just a safety. Now with that, let's put it aside. We will clean it. We can see how bad this is. That's real bad. Put that one right there. If these were proper, this wouldn't be like this. And there's that one. We see they're the same. This will be the first one to go in. I cleaned the pin. Go in on an angle. That's the first one. Second one, same thing. Place this in first and then push up. That was too easy. Check it with a flashlight. Just make sure you collapse these with a nice screwdriver and you'll have no problem. All right, the only thing left is to put this clip in. And as you noticed on the pin, there's a groove for it. And there we go. Now, put the cover on the same way we took it off. I'm gonna slide in. With that, let's go back to the rear. I collapsed these with a straight edge screwdriver. Now we'll take that clip out. It's the exact same as the front. Let's pull the pin out. The key is collapsing them. If you don't collapse them, you're going to have a problem. I've, like I said, I've done a few. You collapse them, it's an easy job. You don't clean the pin, and then don't get That's easy All stuff. Right. We pulled the pin. Now to get the pads out. That's one. That, that's really, he's got his money's worth, that's for sure. I'll put that on this side on the floor. Now let's get the back one. Now you see with this small little screwdriver I just pushed in. And that's that's definitely the trick. But you can see it just so. Just make sure you compress them. Alright. We got our pads. I like to match them. This one will go on the floor, that's the front. 
that's the back. I'm gonna clean up the pin. It's not that bad, but it's bad. I'll be right back. All right, clean the pin. A little dab. Okay, so we know this is this pad. We gotta slip it in and push it up. Like I said, I know I said it before, make sure you collapse these pistons and you'll have no problem. Take the pin and start that one. Now for the rear. Gets in the spot, push up. There we go. You'll feel it. And then if you take a close look, you'll watch this spring move. Get a little flashlight and you can actually see you can actually see the pad. And there we go. This is missing this top. That's probably why this one really did get rusty and corroded. And now we got this safety pin. It's just this little clip. I cleaned it. Slide it. You'll feel it when you got it right. Now pump the pedal a few times and your brakes are all new. Any questions, just ask, but that really was simple. Anybody could do that. Please leave a comment and uh, if you could, subscribe. Thank you, ride safe, and have a great day.